G'day everyone. Uh, recently I just did a shoot with the A92 uh, and I wanted to see how the color science uh, was between the two cameras to see if there was any changes that were made with the A92. Um, so I thought I'd sort of take you through that. Now what I did was, uh, you'll see the shoot as I'm talking here, uh, I'll put it on for a few seconds so you can sort of see what I did. Uh, I used a light meter to get the exposure, I just wanted to make sure that I did get the exact exposure and I, cha I checked the exposure with the Sectronic between both shots to make sure that it still was reading exactly the same. And the exposure was 1 1 25th of a second. Uh, it was on F2.8 and ISO 100. Uh, and I was using the 70 to 200 GM uh, for both of these shots. So I just changed it between the cameras very quickly. Uh, the only difference was one was on 142 mil and I must have uh, touched the lens a fraction because one's on 140. So there's a two mil difference between both of these shots. But that really wouldn't have made uh, any difference in how this looked. And I, what I did was I put the... Um, white balance on daylight because I wanted to lock that in. I didn't want any uh, changes in, in white balance uh, using auto uh, white balance. So I thought I'd show you the two images so you can have a look at them side by side and just to see what you think because there is a difference. So it's interesting uh, to see how they look. So let me bring this up and I'll show you uh, exactly the differences here. So these are the two images. So the one on the left there was the A92. Uh, the one on the right was the A9. Uh, and if you look at them, the interesting thing here is that the A92 is a little bit cooler, um, which uh, is interesting. Now, it, it really just depends. I mean, I could match these easily in, in two seconds using uh, the white balance tool or, or adjusting uh, some of the, the color balance and things like that. I could adjust these very, very fast. Uh, but I just wanted to show you exactly how they came out with, uh, without any editing at all. So these are raw, straight out of the camera. Uh, so you can see the one on the right, which is the A9, uh, is slightly warmer. The interesting thing as well is every single case where I did this shot, uh, the A9 was slightly um, more overexposed or slightly brighter than what the A92 is. Uh, so that's an interesting thing as well. I'd love to get your opinion uh, on that. Uh, you know, if we blow these up, let me just bring in here and I'll just enlarge them so that you can sort of see between the two of them. Um, so you can see the A9 is slightly um, more sort of uh, a, a slight yellowy look or a warmer look to it than what the A92 has. Um, you can see on the lips there too that the lips are slightly warmer than what the A92 has on the left hand side uh, through there. Uh, I mean if you look at them they're both uh, as sharp as each other to me. I mean I can't really see any difference if you're looking at, at sharpness and things like that. It seems to be um, around the same. I think the tonal gradations are slightly better on the A92 but very very slight. These are both raw that you're looking at here. Um, but I think I prefer the A9, uh, the gradation slightly better on the A92 as against the A9. But, but like I said, they're very, very close. And I'd be very confident that I could match both of these uh, within a couple of seconds if you're dealing uh, with Lightroom itself. But I just thought I'd show you. So people did ask me if I could show what it was like directly out of the camera. Um, if you're looking at it, the A92 tends to have a more neutral, natural, I suppose, type color. Uh, the A92 tends to be a little bit warmer using the same lens uh, and without any uh, alterations at all. So let me know what you think about these results. I'd love to know your opinion. Uh, I think they're both very, very good, but they are different. So Sony is definitely tweaking uh, the white balance of these cameras. So yeah, like I said, let me know what you think about them. Uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'd uh, love to know your opinion, see which one you prefer out of the two of them. Uh, but I think they're both really good. Uh, like I said, I could balance them myself uh, so they match uh, exactly. But it is interesting to see how Sony is uh, constantly tweaking uh, its white balance. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.